All right, what is going on, everybody? Um, I'm one of those weirdos that like uh, that likes orange juice and whiskey instead of orange juice and like vodka. Um, I don't know why. But uh, anyway, what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna cover um, call tools and Podio. Okay. So a lot of people have been asking me, how do you integrate call tools and Podio rather than kind of waiting for call tools, kind of do the integration for you. They will do it for you if you contact them. Um, but I think the skill set that I'm about to teach you is useful in many different things. Uh, it's useful for when, for when you're doing like um, landing pages, just understanding the general concept of how to look at form input IDs and stuff like that. Um, it's very useful. It's useful for troubleshooting things. Um, and in this case, we're gonna use it to create an integration um, so that when you click on a seller lead or, or a uh, prospect is what I should say, um, inside of your contacts like this, you're gonna have uh, that Podio button so that when you click this button, it'll automatically open up Podio and populate on a web form some information based off what you got going on. So. Um, you can do this whether you've uh, already created a Podio uh, kind of layout or you can watch my Podio video, create a simple one for yourself. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the No Excuses Real Estate Investing Podio build out that we're currently building and um, we're gonna go to the Cold Callers app and we're gonna go to that um, web form and we're gonna base it off that. This is a very simple web form. It's only exactly what I want cold callers to be able to see nothing more. Whenever they input something into my system, I want them just to give me the name, phone number, email, uh, what caller it is that uh, was calling so we can track that, property address, and then the cold caller notes. They say, submit that, it goes into our acquisitions workspace, but also saves it inside of our, um, our uh, cold caller workspace, uh, or rather app and uh, that way we can filter and see which cold callers are performing the best, things like that, right? Um, so we're gonna base it off this one. So to get to this normally, let me back up here. What you're gonna do, um, I have it saved here, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the wrench um, and then you're going to go to web form, right? And this is where you can select what you wanna show and what you don't wanna show on that web form, okay? So um, you really, you, you kind of want to have the campaign in there. That's something that should be on this one actually um, because you want the cold caller to select the campaign they're calling again so that, that can be tracked. Um, you don't want to attach files. Um, you want to uh, select from existing items. Okay, that all looks good. So that's good. Fine and dandy. Click save and share. And then um, you can take this URL and this is the URL that you're going to give uh, to your cold callers. Actually, you don't have to if they're using call tools because we're going to take care of that right now. Uh, for now, you are going to want to copy that. So go ahead and copy that URL um, and then we're, we're just going to go ahead and open that up. All right, we're going to stay in this, leave it open for now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to call tools uh, and we're going to go to, I think, settings and um, I always got to find it, connectors, I believe. Yep, so settings and connectors. And what I'm gonna do just for the sake of time is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna clone my in here. I'm just gonna do a uh, copy on it. Um, and then I'm gonna go into that one. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on add connector. All right, and you're gonna say, um, I believe post. Let me just verify real quick because it's one of those things I just seen it and then it kind of like made me think, is it post or is it get? Okay, so it's gonna do a get. Um, you're gonna put in that URL that we're gonna copy. Um, so let's go back and real quick do that. So add connector, get, put in the URL that we just had, um, and that's all we gotta do there. Integration, you're just gonna say there is no integration. They don't have a Podio integration. We're creating that through a connector. Um, the name of this is a tutorial, um, and the button text uh, will be like uh, cold caller, um, Podio or something, right? You can just name it whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. That's what's going to be on the actual button. This is just the name of the actual connector name. Okay. Um, strip uh, country codes from phone numbers. Um, I don't do that. I like to keep those in there. Um, you never know when you need them. It's easier than leave it and then, you know, figuring it out later. Okay. So 
The next thing you have here is uh, uh, you have fields on target page and then fields in call tools CRM. Um, so these are the fields that are actually uh, already inside of your CRM build out, right? You can add actual different fields inside of uh, the, the CRM template. And I'll show you that because you're gonna need to probably do that if you're gonna, like for example, um, if you have a company name and you're cold calling like uh, fourplex plus, right? Or you're calling fiveplex plus, I should say, and you're dealing with commercial properties, a lot of times you're going to be targeting and you're going to be calling and saying, hey, how's it going? Uh, is this the owner of LLC or something like that? Um, and in order to have that LLC name inside of your CRM, which I'll just go ahead and click on. We'll go to contacts real quick. Um, I'm going to show you an example. If I open this up, like you'll notice that there isn't really a place. You got title, you got company, right? You can put it there and you can choose company and fill it in there. Um, but if you have anything that you want outside of that, like uh, uh, like when we built out a mobile home parks, one of these, you know, we we added for mobile home parks, um, you know, and just create those different names rather than using the original one. How you do that is this C under CRM, you go to custom fields, and then you create a custom field. Um, as you can see, I have one here for park name, um, and if you go in there, it's literally just saying whatever the name is, uh, the number of uh, a field number, and then whether it's a text or it's a, a choice or date or whatever. Um, and then you can always display that on a contact, right? I don't always display that on this contact. What you can actually do is inside the campaigns, you can specifically choose to have those custom fields part of your list or campaigns. I know I'm kind of going a little bit over a lot of stuff there, but uh, hopefully you guys can keep uh, keep tracking on that. So next what we're going to do, uh, we're not going to worry about adding any custom fields uh, here. However, we're going to go back to our account here. Um, was it account or was it CRM? You know, CRM settings and then um, do, 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 where is it at? Uh, connectors. And we're just going to go into uh, the clone that I did and we're going to edit it. Um, and you guys can go ahead and take a screenshot or do whatever um, to this one, pause the video, and just go ahead and populate at least this many fields, uh, more or less. It's gonna differ. We're gonna actually build out this one right now um, so I can show you guys. However, um, most of these are gonna be the same, right? You're gonna have a first and last name, a phone number, email, custom one, custom two, custom three, notes, okay? Um, and that custom one, two, or three, is based off of the Podio or the Call Tools CRM uh, dealio. I don't know what you call it, a contact card. Um, and then this one's on the left hand side. This is based off of this Podio form. So let's go ahead and um, we'll actually let's go to make this easier to show you guys visually. I'm gonna actually go to uh, my Podio form. So let's do that. Let's open up my end. Um, and that would make more sense than uh, using that one. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and open up uh, this one. And then let's go back, settings, connectors. And let's edit this one. Um, Hopefully you guys like, that's not sensitive enough to hear me sipping because that would be really annoying to me in a video. So I apologize if it did do that. Um, so let me remove out the data that's in here. All right, so looking at this, right, we have seller name, right? If we have a contact card and we want to click add to Podio, we want it to automatically put the seller's first and last name in here. We don't want it just to be seller. Now, if you have it broken apart in your Podio, first name, last name, I don't know why you would, but if you do, um, this will be differently. But it, because we want seller's first name and last name in here, if we go back to our connector, you see we have first name, last name. So let's go ahead and build that out. I'll remove it for now. And I'm gonna find in here, first name, last name. You can either type it out or you can just drag it down here and smack it in there. Do it for the last name as well. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, snap, it's only let me do it one at a time. That's right, I remember that. So just copy it, make sure you put spaces between it, paste it in there and change this to last name. 
forgot that drag and drop only allows you one. Now, the next thing is phone number. So make sure your next field is phone number. And then we have an email address, if they provide one to us, if we have one in our CRM or not, um, from the data that we buy, whatever. Seller um, email address, go there. Now, custom, custom one and custom two and custom three are gonna be things that um, that are well they're custom and let me show you how we how we find that um, the reason it's custom is because there's no you know campaign follow-up motivation you know the follow-up especially we wouldn't really have um, you know they're they're just customs right they're mapped to motivation custom 2 is mapped to the situation um, and custom 3 is matched with how quickly do you want to sell and um, so motivation, so this drop down, hot, warm, or cold, is mapped um, to that. And, and that's really never going to auto map because even if I go back into, and I'm gonna leave this screen again, I guess. If I go back into my CRM, I should've just opened uh, multiple call tools, but and I click on a contact card, um, I don't have a, yeah, I did. I added motivation. Okay, so that's that's why I have that in there. So I added motivation as a custom. So if I go to custom fields, I should have a motivation in here. Yeah, motivation. I edit that. Um, it's a multiple choice. Um, so you have motivation and it's custom one, right? So if I go back into this again, <laughs> sorry, we're kind of all over the place, but go back into this again, we'll edit that one and we'll see custom one is mapped to fields motivation. Same thing, create another um, another custom two, custom three, and map it out there. Um, hopefully you've seen that, you just click CRM, click on custom fields, add the field, then take custom, and then whatever number it is, put it here as the uh, field inside of uh, call tools. And now, how do we find this? How do we find the first name fields for the actual form so that when you click that Podio button, it automatically takes the data from inside call, call tools and populates it over here. It's pretty straightforward. What you're gonna do is, if you're on, um, if you're on uh, Windows, you're gonna do Control Shift I, okay? Control Shift I, you're gonna click the, the select element by ID up here in the top left corner, and then you're gonna highlight over top of this um, input field and you're gonna select it. You're just gonna click on it, okay? If you see on the right hand side, you have a, um, you can see in, in the code, this is actually HTML, well, this is HTML, this is CSS over here. Um, it says input type equals, equals text and the name of this field is fields seller name. So if you double click inside there, you can actually copy that, go back over into call tools, and then boom, paste it in there, seller phone. Go back to your select element by ID, click on it. You're gonna see it highlights that section, double click inside that field, the name equals. Now, one important thing is make sure you do the name of the input, not the class, because the class is just a relationship to CSS data. That's how you can program you know, CSS, which is all the pretty stuff, that's how it makes it all different fonts and, and sizes, you know, you, like you could do um, you know, I can change like all the font size here to like, I don't know, like 25 or something. Um, and it just changes font sizes and you can change the colors to whatever, you know, maybe change it to red. I don't know. Um, that, that would have to be on the screen for that to happen. And I'm not going to go into all that, but, um, at any rate, uh, phones go over here. Oh, it did see the arrows now. See how the arrows are red now. That's how like back in the day when people were like first got like, they would take like their bank account and make it look like they had like a million dollars because they just take like seller name for example here and they just change the text seller name to uh, like uh, Billy or something um, and it would change it was that I changed the right one label for Billy oh no I changed the wrong one seller I don't think it's gonna do it because it's making a cross reference yeah it's not gonna that's not gonna work um, at any rate, um, not to point in this video, go into fields, email, email address, same exact thing, element by ID, choose the email, fields name, copy that, bring it over, paste it in there, and we just continue going. Motivation, copy that, go over motivation, um, 
name equals fields motivation. And you can kind of see a common trend here. It's the field and the field is the motivation. It's based off whatever the label name is for that input field. Um, and you're gonna do that for every every single one that you want that that has something in call tools that you want to auto populate over. You know, you can't really put in call tools the campaigns, right? They're gonna be inside Podio so that whenever you do it, you can auto automatically kick, click it and put the camp campaign in there so that your cold caller can always keep track of which um, campaigns they're calling inside of call tools and submit it over into Podio and you can keep track of that. Um, same thing with follow up in. Oh, change all to t that's where the 28 font that I did was. Um, that's funny. Uh, this is it on these two. That's funny. Um, same thing with the call statuses. Like you're not going to put those as a CRM option. That's why I only have three custom fields because inside, um, in like I said, inside of call tools, I added those as custom fields so that on the actual caller ID, when a phone call pops up, you know they're going to be checking on the call tool side, they're going to be selecting um, the motivation as hot. They're going to be selecting, you know, the, um, what was the other ones? Motivation, opportunity as closed and lost, whatever, whatever it is, uh, renovated, fully renovated. They're going to be selecting those inside call tools. That way when they click the button Podio, it's going to automatically populate, and I'm going to show you guys one here in just a second. It's going to populate that data over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's close this out. Once you're done mapping all those, you're just going to go ahead and click Save Connector, and then you can do a test on it and make sure it's connected. Um, and then once that's done, once you save the connector, there's one really important step. Do not forget this step because I swear you'll, you'll have yourself running around like crazy. You have to switch it to true. You, you can deactivate these things. So make sure you go over here and you see these options here. You got activate, deactivate. Make sure you check this box to activate that in there. So now if I go back into my CRM here, go to my contacts, and let's just select this one here, I should see uh, another FCRE Podio. You're not see, and that's, it's called FCRE Podio. There's two of them. Uh, the name of it's FCRE, FCRE Podio copy, but that's just the name of the connector. The actual button, remember, we have two different button names. Oh, we have a button name and we have the, the connector name. Uh, it's still called FCRE Podio. So if I type in, I switch the motivation to hot. Um, I switch the, uh, where's the other ones that I added? I add some notes in here. Hello, hello. Um, reason for selling, reasons. Um, and then you can switch your dispositions to whatever. I'm not gonna do a dispositions here because um, I don't actually want this po this prospect to leave its current disposition status. Um, you can switch who it's assigned to. Um, that's just internal to call tools, doesn't matter. My cold callers literally call. Um, they, they, they switch the dispositions to, to yes, no, maybe, whatever. Um, and then they put the level of motivation, type of reasoning, type in comments, Okay, cool, they're, they're interested, and then they click FCRE Podio. That's gonna take it over here. It's gonna populate the name, the phone number. Um, they're gonna choose the campaign they're cold calling. Um, follow up in, I'm actually removing, they never do that, I don't tell them to do that. It automatically put motivation hot. Um, call status, they'll automatically put to um, like a new, new, new or um, inside of, I'll, I'll open up Podio and again, again in a second show you guys that. Um, Opportunity stage, uh, what the status of it is, if it's renovated, they'll fill out any of that rest of that information, why are they selling, how quickly how quickly do they need to sell, they'll populate that one, and then they'll submit this over into Podio. One thing to remember is that this Podio web form is totally separate from call tools, okay? This is submitting it into Podio, this is setting a disposition inside of call tools, so you wanna make sure you still select the disposition status and then click save and move on to the next prospect because if you don't, um, Call Tools isn't gonna know what to do with this record. Call Tools is not tracking that you put it in a podio. It could give two shits, right? Because this is a button just to take data from Call Tools, populate it into a form to make it easier for you to submit that data somewhere else, okay? Um, I think that's it on that. Uh, so let's go back real quick. And I want to show you what I need. What did I need to show you? I wanted to show you inside of Podio real quick. Um, uh, cold callers. 
Um, actually, no. Let's just go into like a seller lead and then open up. Add seller lead. As an example, based off like the podio I showed you guys before, um, you know, call status, they'd always click fresh lead. If a cold caller is putting something inside of podio, um, it would be a fresh lead. Okay, so that way when it comes into podio, they've marked it as fresh lead. Once you've got, you know, tried to contact them, you know, then you would set, set and change it based off of however you build out your podio. Um, so I think that's it on that. Um, you've activated your, let me go ahead and close this so we don't save that. Um, so you've activated your, um, let me go back, CRM, settings, connectors, you've made sure it's activated, you've made sure all those fields are mapped. Um, that's pretty much it. That is how you integrate call tools with Podio and it's really straightforward. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If I didn't say in the beginning, uh, my name's Tyler Austin. Uh, my Instagram's Tyler Austin Original. All the links are in the descriptions below. I have a web app called REI Sift. You should check it out. Um, do a demo with me. I promise you it's uh, worth your time. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into that. There's other videos on my YouTube channel that kind of talks about it. We handle data management. Uh, we also are integrating with Call Tools itself uh, to send data straight from uh, REI Sift over into uh, Call Tools. Um, and then from call tools, you straight put it straight into Podio. So literally your data will be fully managed and uh, streamlined and cleaned and stacked and um, a bunch of really cool stuff. Uh, automated marketing triggers, all that good stuff. Not gonna be a sales pitch. Um, I just wanna put this out there. A lot of people have asked me for it. Um, hopefully uh, you guys got some value from this and you guys can save some time. I'll cover some more stuff. If you guys have anything like, I'm inside of Podio. I know the API, I know everything about it. Uh, or inside of really, well, yeah, Podio, I'm really good at, as well as Call Tools. So um, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. Um, if you you want to, if you don't have po uh, Call Tools and you want to use Call Tools, uh, I highly recommend it. It's, it's a really awesome pat platform. Uh, you can either hit me up on IG, Tyler Austin Original, like I said before, and message me and I'll give you a uh, contact to hit up over there. Um, or if you go over there to there, make sure you ask for Chase, he's my boy. Um, usually he comments somewhere in one of these videos sometimes. Um, but other than that, um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Make sure you guys go over to Facebook to No Excuses Real Estate Investing and ask to join over there. That's my Facebook group. The link is also in the description below, as well as all the other resources and stuff like that that I use inside my business, um, as well as uh, you know other people that I know that uh, are really successful in the game. So I love to network with you guys. Uh, don't be shy. If, if you're in real estate, I want to talk to you. So make sure you guys hit me up for real. Um, I will respond back to you. Thank you so much. Hopefully this was of value. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to sub, 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 subscribe or whatever people say. I don't know. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.